Okay, here's another example illustrating the alternative form given as a Laplace transform of g of t times a delayed step of u t minus a is equal to e to the minus a s times the Laplace transform of the function g t plus a. Here, this example is an initial value problem where we're given this differential equation, this first order y prime plus y equals to the forcing function f of t with the initial condition y zero equal to five where f of t is zero from zero less than or equal to t or and t less than pi so it's off for that amount of time and then after time t equal pi then it becomes three cosine of t so now finding the Laplace transform for this differential equation we proceed as follows the Laplace transform of y prime plus the Laplace transform of y and the Laplace transform of 3 cosine of t then we multiply by a step with a delay of pi so in here this is y s times y of s minus y of zero plus y of s three cosine is s squared plus one squared or simply one and then that delay is e to the minus minus pi s factoring out the y of s and putting the initial condition on the other side and replacing it with y zero equal five we have s plus one y s three s over s squared plus one times e to the minus pi s plus five is our function due to the initial condition factoring out y of s which we just did here and dividing it by s plus one we have three s s squared plus one multiplied by s plus one e to the minus pi s for the first term plus five over s plus one okay i need to make a correction on the earlier steps because what we noted earlier when we did we saw the delay of a for the cosine of pi we saw that it was minus cosine of t and we did this earlier when we did this alternative form of finding the Laplace transform here e to the minus s pi with a delay of pi or advance of pi is the Laplace transform of minus cosine of t is e to the minus that minus sign needs to be there e to the minus pi s times s divided by s squared plus one so in my previous steps shown here I need to add a minus sign for here 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 and here before we complete the problem so that's my correction and I apologize for that now we're gonna do a partial fraction for this term so we'll just worry about this for now 3s negative 3s over s squared plus one divided by s plus one is equal to a s plus one plus b s plus c over s squared plus one we put this in a common denominator a s squared plus one plus b s plus b s plus c all that multiplied by s plus one and this is equal to negative three s in the numerator since we put everything in the common denominator the denominators are identical so we're just equating the numerators now for s equal to negative one that implies a is equal to one squared plus one equal to minus 3 minus 1 
So that implies that A is equal to a positive 3 halves. Now looking at the S term, since we don't have any more real roots, we'll look at the S squared terms. So we got 1A and a BS times a S is also S squared, so we have a B. But we looked in the right side, and we don't have any S squared terms, so that implies A is equal to minus B, which implies that B equals to minus 3 halves. Then we'll look at the S terms. We don't have any S terms here, but we have 1B there and a 1C here. Then we look at the right-hand side of this equation, and we have minus 3S. Well, we know what B is. B is equal to negative 3 halves, which implies that C is equal to minus 3 halves as well. Let me get rid of this S term there. So we have our partial fraction expansion completed. So that implies that we have, going back up here to y of s, y of s is equal to minus, well we have 3 halves, 1 over s plus 1, plus b, which we know is minus 3 halves, s over s squared plus 1, and then for c we have minus 3 halves, 1 over s squared plus 1. All that is multiplied by here, e to the minus pi over s, and then completing this we have 5 over s plus 1. Almost finished. Okay, well now we'll take the inverse Laplace transform in this last line here, and we note that e to the minus pi s is a delay of minus pi. Therefore, for each of these terms, these three terms here, we're going to add a delay term associated with the function of the Laplace inverse Laplace transform. So that's y of t. Now we look at the first term. We have a constant of 3 halves in front. This is e to the minus t but we note that's a delay of t minus pi. And then we multiply by our step function, t minus pi. Second term, that's a negative 3 halves. This corresponds to a cosine of t, but we have a delay of t minus pi. Last term here, we have a negative 3 halves. This corresponds to a sine of t minus pi. Now we'll take this term in brackets and multiply by u t minus pi. Then our last term here is just 5 with no delay e to the minus t. Now we're using our trigonometric identity, so cosine of t minus pi is just a minus cosine of t. So this will be a plus 3 halves. And then a sine of t minus pi is a minus sine of t, and this will be a plus 3 halves. So rewriting this last expression, 3 halves e to the minus t minus pi times the unit step with a delay of pi plus 3 halves cosine of t plus 3 halves sine of t multiplied by our delay of pi in our step plus 5 e to the minus t. So that's how you apply this alternative form to deal with delays in an initial value problem.